All of that. Oh, look. Let me get a good shot of that. It's, it's alive. alive. Wow. Hello. <laughs> There's plenty of room over here to it. God dang up, it. Just mess up your video. She messed up my video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold up. Whoa, oh. I just got, I got some gifts. <laughs> Hey Project Fam, welcome back to another episode. So we're gonna do something a little different today. I am not going to work on my project, but we are going to work on a project. Special guest to the channel is always Boogeyman FPV. Say what's up. What's up? Ah, gotta cover the plates. I gotta cover the plates now. All right, <laughs> he just gave me a couple of gifts. I got my Pelican sticker. And I've got my grommet that will go very nicely on my door. So he just got in and he likes to talk about these cars. So while he's here, I'm just gonna let him walk around. We gonna chat. So what do you see so far? Anything look different? No, well, it, I was expecting it to be a little cleaner, but hey. A little cleaner? <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Dang. No, it looks good. You got, you got room for the projects. I got room for the project today. Uh, I have the uh, residual gardening stuff we're going to move. Okay. We're gonna put all the gardening stuff in the table. I mean, in the containers. Then we're gonna move this table over here. Okay. And that should give us plenty of room over here to add. God dang it. Sorry. Did she mess up your video? She messed up my video. <laughs> we'll have plenty of room uh, over here to, to work in the middle. Okay. So we'll do one side, we'll flip the car around to the other side. That way we'll have plenty of room. Like All right, but let me let me tell you what happened in the meantime. You probably know this. So I had a delivery of two fenders and a yeah. bumper come in. Now he could probably look around and find the fenders, but he doesn't see the bumper. Now I'm really proud of the fenders. First of all, they're black. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. They're black. They have the headlight tray. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take this headlight tray and I'll sell it on both of them because they're still in good condition. Okay. And I'll see if I can sell the bumper. If not, you know, I'll, I'll uh, recycle it. But I have uh, both of these. They are nice. They're not dented. They still have to be sanded and primed and all that other good stuff. But what you don't see, you ready? Look down. Look down. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's take this out and take a look at it. We get it out. Let's put it in the main area. Oh, no, right here is good. You're right. What do you think? It's in good condition compared it's to this. <laughs> <laughs> you can reuse, I guess, a lot of the grill parts. Yeah, so the grill parts are kind of broken. I see you got a different um, skirt, though. I got a real skirt. <laughs> yeah, I like this one more than this one. Though. Really? Yeah, I do. Come take a look on the side, though. Oh, yeah, I don't like this at all. So this would have to have like a continuous skirt along the side. I so, mean, it's cool if you if you want, if you like it, then get down, right? No, if if I like it, then I want to actually continue with the side skirt. And I didn't know if I wanted to do that. I wanted to keep it pretty simple. Yeah, I mean, this one blends right in. It'll kind of match up. Exactly. So this is the right skirt for uh, the side panel there. Okay. Uh, I have to see what matches up with this before I totally say I'm going to sell it. What you see? You see something? No, I'm just checking the parts out, that's all. Looking at the parts. I mean, they pop off, so. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. That's a good plug, though. That is a good one. All right. You know you can't start the car with your right foot. You know it feels, you know it feels <laughs> awkward. <laughs> funny, man. It just doesn't feel right, so. No, it doesn't, but you know. <laughs> I understand. All right, so there's a rattle somewhere, right? There's a rattle, and it's happening over on that particular It's on door. this side. Okay, and yeah, we think it's a speaker? Yep. Okay. So let me um, get something going so we can hear the speaker. So as you suspect, we started playing some really loud music. And it wasn't our music, and I didn't want a copyright strike, so just take my word when I tell you that the speaker sounded like it was broken, like the filter, the paper itself was busted, it was just rattling and blah, 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 blah. It sounded bad. So we did the uh, passenger side already, ran into a couple of hiccups, and now we're going to record and uh, take off the driver's side. The driver's side should be a little bit easier. I'm sorry, the driver's side should be a whole lot easier. Um, 
because we know exactly how to remove all the trim pieces yeah. and, and all the screws. So this should be a, a piece of cake. So I'm gonna have a Boogeyman kind of talk to the camera as he takes this apart. And we have the benefit of getting some sunlight to kind of help us. First things first is trying to get this door card off. So there's five bolts in here that we kind of hold everything together to get to them. There's one behind the doorknob. Mm -hmm. And you got a T20 here to pop that off. We'll talk through it. And then there's a T30 inside there. This trim piece comes off. There's a bolt through there. Mm -hmm. This trim piece pops off. I may as well kind of do it so you can see it now. Mm -hmm. Pull this Might off. Might as well get all up on it. Yeah, okay, good. T30 in there. T30 there's, inside there. Series there. This has to come off. We're going to be careful here because um, we broke a little tiny um, tongue and groove connector that's on the side here on the passenger side. So we'll get to that one next. But this pops off here and slides up. Mm -hmm. And then there's a piece over here. Mm -hmm. You want to mind if we just take that off now? Trim piece that pops off. That was my that was my contribution to the right. other door. Okay, good. And actually, these parts are fairly robust. I wish they all they were all kind of like, yeah, you cool. know. But and your T30 in there. Yeah, see the T30 right there. Good. So that's and then easy. there's clips that go down the side and around the perimeter. Mm -hmm. That kind of like they're like little pop things that go in to kind of hold the door in. I think three, another three, and then another three here. Okay. Okay, and that's the process. So right. this trim piece right here, we got to get off two prongs holding it down, one holding it in from the front. And that one's a little bit of, of a pain, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was the one that was um, really hard to kind of like pry up and get under. Okay, let's see if it, ooh, ooh. Oh, that scares me. <laughs> I don't like those sounds, but. Yeah, there should be another one here. <sighs> yeah, and then getting in on this angle here. There's one in front, one clip in front. God, that one is the tough one. And it's all the way against the door, so that's a tough one to get. Yeah, I'll get my finger under. And now. <sighs> so, what I don't like is having to get a screwdriver out and kind of be all brutal about it, but I think. That was perfect. So, you no need that there. screwdriver to reach that clip that was all the way in. It's probably in about another, what, two inches or three inches? Yep, and uh, look at that, man. They broke that one too? You know what, I'm wondering it's now, not it's not broken. Because <laughs> it looks identical to the other side, so you know what, I feel better, it's not broken. It's not. It's just angled to make it easy, so. It looks like okay. it's... It does look broken. Yeah. Okay. That's right. how pieces look like when I break them. <laughs> so, just for everybody on YouTube, this was gonna ruin my day, because <laughs> I just knew that somebody was in my car and broke this, and what, oh, what was me? Now that I know that that's what it looks like. It's just a weird angle. Yeah, it is. And this is what we're talking about. So these two clamp down, that one clamps forward. Can I see the clips again? So it's only three. Yep. This clip is on the inside of the door, all the way all against the, way. the yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's why you needed the screwdriver. It's got yeah. it. And then deep in here, we gotta get to a bolt to kind of pull out. So we'll rest that on the side right there. That's a T30 as well. Ah, uh, fun times with that one. All right. all right. We're not gonna break this one. <laughs> All right, so I think what we decided on last time is that I would hold this part in so that there is no pulling it out right. at the top since it needs to slide up and really just getting under here to pop this loose. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh, nice, okay. okay. And now we slide up. And then we slide up. Oh my, something fell out. Yeah, this looks like a spring. This is like a, a terminal. Okay, we go easy. So that groove is still in place. Good. Oh, we got a little play on the wire here. Okay. Look. Hmm. Okay. So we'll come back to that. Let's put that there. And let's see if we can. It's time for a dance break. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the door card from the door. And that just involves pulling the door card away from the door. And if you pull hard enough, it pops right off. Oh, it's upside down. So this one, so we're good. No, it's three connections. Oh, let's take care of this one first. Okay, so you squeeze the edges to lift it out. Okay. I'm trying to do this and balance the door. I can hold it. Okay. You know what you need. Nice. And pull it. It's like an S curve. Mm -hmm. All right. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna take a seat and lay it back for a second. Okay. So we can see. The easier with this one is to just pull it out of the 
thing and then deal with it to give yourself a little bit of free what play. That? Oh, oh, that's just a... Yeah, it just anchors it to the door. Right. This one needs to tilt up in a way and then it pulls out, but I'm trying to do it and hold the door. I can't even get my fingers under this thing. See a little tab there? Mm -hmm. That's got to go in. So this so one flips up this way. Goes up this way? Literally flips up that way. Yeah, I, it's trying to do it. Why don't you let me come and hold the door? Okay. And then uh, you can... Okay, so let me sit where you are. I have the door. Okay. Show me how that works. Locked, mm -hmm. unlocked. Got it. Uh, yeah, so it's gotta, it, yeah, even now I just did it to myself again. <laughs> uh, so if you push that down and then it makes it easier to flip up. Got it. All right, and this one, you need a screwdriver or something sharp to push down so that I can slide off. Okay. So this part that flexes is supposed to move that blade. Mm -hmm. When that blade goes down, it gives you clearance against this little piece that mm -hmm. kind of clips it in. I don't so you, put it back in because I'm afraid it's going to lock in. So you push down on it. You push down to kind of lift it up Got a it. little bit so that it can slide off. Got it. Okay. Right. Okay. Panel's off? Panel is off. Okay. All right. So all of these are in the up position. So when you put them in, line them up, and you slap them shut, mm -hmm. these push down and then they spread, and then your door doesn't come out again. Got it. New speaker time. So what's so great about this, this tool you have? I'm not breaking my fingers, sitting there going turn, turn. Yeah, you could do it with like a ratcheting tool, but look at it. So when you turn the tool counterclockwise, it unscrews. Gyroscopic. That is crazy. We're gonna disconnect this. Mm -hmm. Two clips on the side that kind of push in, mm -hmm. allowing it to lift out. And got it. We've got some Dremel work to do on this one as well. Well, who buys one speaker? Look, after I spent all this money on this build, would I buy something cheap just to get by today? Yeah. So here's the question, what kind of speakers do you have in yours? And do you know if they work? I don't know if they work. <laughs> there you go, right? So. <laughs> but I, I, I saw this speaker, it's a different configuration. Oh, so it's like you couldn't, okay. Yeah. This one. I think that brother was just trying to sell me a speaker. Did you guys did you guys hear that? <laughs> I think I think he was trying to sell me a speaker. No, I was I was trying to say rather than sell it, I could hold on to it in the event that you needed a speaker. You know, if you want to pay for it, you can. <laughs> mm -hmm. You washing a car today? I think I need to, but um I don't know how motivated I feel right now. This is very emotionally draining. Yeah. <laughs> is that how awesome this thing is? Yeah. Same. A little too awesome. Hmm. DeWalt sponsor me. <laughs> DeWalt better, better pony up a couple of dollars. These two grooves right here are supposed to go down through there, but they're much tighter on the original speakers. So we're going to take a Dremel, flatten this out, and then plug in. So we're, like I said, we're just Dremeling away the tabs here. Tabs are in the way. It's almost done, but that should fit, and then the bottom one. So you can see, that's what it looks like, that's what we want, flat. Got it. Okay. Cleaned up. If you look at these teeth right there, they're going to two tabs in there. And we end there. Nice. All right, speaker secured. Okay. So we're just gonna connect the uh, terminals. In. This little plunger goes under here. We'll connect that in a second. And then as I get closer here, mm -hmm. this one is, like I said, locked, unlocked. No, locked, unlocked, yeah. So we plug in. It wants to go down when you plug it in. Nice. Now it's locked in place. And this one we'll put right back here. That's mm -hmm. connected. Okay, now you have the door handle. And now the door handle. Nice, the fun one. I'm trying to, the light is messing me up, so. Oh, nice. This little plunger. Let's put some light on. Down and through. And it's hooked in. <laughs> what am I saying? 
Okay, now go. that's in. Smart. Slides forward, snaps in, secured. Good. All right, so all the bits and bobs are back on. You have the door? Yeah, we got the door. Okay. Make sure that I get in the groove of the car. All right, so mm -hmm. we'll just start them to kind of hold it in place. I get to play with the tool. I get to hold the camera. <laughs> Alrighty. Nice. My work is done. It's done. Popping panel back in. Are we going to test the speaker first? Oh, you feel confident we, we're rocking with this? I. I feel like I need to test the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Lights on. That's a good sign. Lights on. Lights on is good sign. So that's connected. We decided to challenge the integrity of the new speaker with some reggae. Everything worked fine. Now that's tightened up. And we just work in reverse, putting these screws back in place, and voila, we're done. Was that easy or what? It wasn't. I would say it was simple, but not easy. On a scale of one to five, where five being difficult, how would you rate this job? It's probably a two to three. You gotta be not too heavy handed pulling parts out. So we broke a clip that covers the cover right behind the mirror housing. So we JB welded that back in place. And um, one of the trim pieces was already kind of tight to get out on the door handle part that broke, you know, but we didn't do that. Apparently that was done already. So I would say you just got to take your time. Good. All right. All right, you want to pull it out? Yes, Project fans, you better believe I pulled the car out. Nevertheless, hey, thank you all for watching. This was an awesome project. Special thanks to Boogeyman FPV for providing us some awesome content. Hey, just like hip hop, yo, this video's a wrap.